let's go ahead and talk about the last three categories in our advanced tab so we could go down to site map layout and what this does is actually tells us the layout of our you know home page and etc so right now we don't have a home page because in our site we actually don't have any pages at all and what we're going to do with our site we're actually just going to go ahead and talk about linkings you know our pages and maybe inserting an image inside of our site and it's going to be very very basic and it's only going to have one image and it's just going to show you how to actually create links inside of your site and how to put images inside of your site and we're going to go ahead and go over how to create a navigational bar and so forth and so on later on in the next CD and for right now we're going to talk about the file view columns and notice now it has all the information about the file view which is located over in this panel and I'll tell you the notes, the size, the type, etc. how much should be checked in and checked out by. Let's go ahead and look at the next topic in our categories and this is the contribute category and this is talking about capability enable contribute capability and this will allow you to use a rollback and event logging and also let you maybe you know backtrack to see actually how you've gone ahead and done some of these websites let's go ahead and click OK now I notice the cache will now be recreated because of the name root folder and HTTP HTTP address or cloaking settings have been changed in the site. We'll click OK. And notice now, we've gone ahead and done that. We'll go ahead and click Done. And now maybe you'd be wondering about how to actually save the site. So we go to File, and notice we can't actually save the site. So let me go ahead and explain why. The site is actually just a folder and when you're actually going to upload your site it will be uploading just that folder so whatever's in your folder will actually be uploaded onto your server which would then be accessible onto the internet so what we're going to do now we're going to go ahead and create pages and stuff like that we're going to first create a page talk about the preferences you know and the properties inside of a page then we're going to move on and talk about actually linking multiple pages together and inserting images to actually create a basic standard website and we're going to be using this basic site right here that we've created so let's go ahead and move on and talk about creating a page